to my channel. So happy Valentine's Day for those of you guys that are celebrating and if you're not, don't worry girl, I got you, we'll celebrate together. <laughs> I just want to say that I love you guys more than anything and yeah, you guys are my Valentine's. Uh, as cheesy as that is, is true. Um, but yeah, I've decided to create a look inspired by Valentine's Day. So it's quite flirty and girly. It's quite a soft makeup look, but you can totally amp it up by changing the lashes um, or going a bit deeper in the crease. But I've done it to a point where it's kind of daytime wearable and evening wearable as well. Does that make sense? But yeah, you can wear it for day and night. Change the lip color if you wish, if you feel like there's too much pink going on. Um, just I thought it complemented it quite nicely, um, but yeah, do whatever suits you and you can change it up where you like, but I just thought you could take inspiration for, from it if you're going out with your boo thang or even with your girls, it's just nice to get into that festive mood with a look like this. Before I let you go, I just want to say I have a bit of a watery eye with this eye, it's a little bit irritated today, so I have popped lashes on but they're not sticking properly on the inner corner, ouch. <laughs> on the inner corner um, just because they're quite watery and so the eyeliner as well won't stay on properly there so I'm sorry but yeah the rest of it I'm quite happy with um, and I really hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. So to start I've got my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Pure Beige and this is just going to go all over my eyes as a base for our eyeshadows and it's just going to clear out any discoloration that we've got and I'm just blending that in with my fingers. This is going to stop our eyeshadows from creasing and it's going to help it last extra long. Then I've got my L'Oreal La Palette Nude <laughs> in the shade Rose and I'm just taking these two matte shades from it so it's like a light brown and a soft pink shade and this is just going to go through the crease. Um, and a little bit above it just with a soft blendy brush and this will be our transitional shade eyeshadow so it's something that is in the background which the other colours will blend into then I'm taking this soft pink shimmery or metallic shade should I say and on a flat shader brush I am just taking this all the way across my eyelids you just want to build this up until you have the intensity that you like. And then I'm taking this matte grey eyeshadow and just on a um, tapered blending brush, I'm just focusing this shade on the outer corner of the eye. I'm really wedging it into the uh, outer corner of my crease and wriggling it about just to get that depth on the outer corner mainly. And then I'm just taking a mix of that metallic purple shade and the dark grey once more. And I'm just doing the same thing and so I'm just really building up that depth and intensity on the outer corner and you just want to keep doing this until you are happy with how it looks so keep building and blending um, and that's the main thing and then I am just going to move on to skin once I finish that and I've got my L'Oreal True Match foundation I will leave the shades for everything down below in the description box um, but finally I found a drugstore foundation that I think matches me quite well um, so yeah I'm just blending this in with my Real Techniques buffing brush and, and as you can see it gives a really nice uh, flawless base and it's got a really beautiful medium and buildable coverage then to conceal my under eyes I've got my LA Girl Pro Conceal and my Maybelline Anti-Age Rewind Eraser thing um, concealer so I'm taking my LA Girl one first to cover up my dark circles as it is more full coverage and then I am just going over that with my Maybelline concealer to highlight these areas and then I'm just using the same Maybelline concealer to highlight other areas so down the bridge of my nose also just on my forehead as well when I'm highlighting my forehead I like to create an upside down triangle as you can see there are triangles and shapes on the face like underneath the eyes as well so it kind of helps you with knowing how to and where to highlight um, and yeah and how much you need to highlight too if that makes sense um, and then you just want to blend all of those highlighted areas out um, and make sure everything is looking seamless and flawless and that there are no harsh or funny lines along your face.
Then I'm just taking my Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Powder and this has got a nice yellow tint to it and I'm just setting the highlighted areas of my face with this powder and it's really nice and light and finely milled um, so it sits really nicely underneath the eyes. Um, I'm not highlighting the rest of my face just because I found that this foundation, it ended up sitting a little bit dry on my face so I didn't really need to put a little bit more powder anywhere else, just in the areas where I feel I get a little bit oily and I need to set. Then moving back onto the eyes, I'm just taking the light shimmery shade from the palette um, and I'm just taking this along the brow bone and this is just to highlight it a little bit. I'm also taking that same colour on the inner corners of the eyes and this is really gonna, going to open up the eyes and make it look a little bit fresh. And then taking that same matte grey eyeshadow just on a pencil brush along the lower lash line to tie the whole eye look together really, really nicely. Moving on to mascara, I've got my Maybelline The Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara, which I believe they just bought out. Um, and it's a really nice mascara for separating and lengthening your lashes. So I thought it was perfect for this look because I didn't want anything too thick and clumpy. Um, so I'm applying a couple of coats of this onto my top lashes and then I also pop some on my bottom lashes too. Um, and then just to kind of amp up the look a little bit, I applied some falsies, but they're really nice and light, fluttery um, false lashes. I believe they're the Ardell 110s but I will double check and again I will just leave it down below in the description box but I applied some really nice and light ones, nothing too intense. Moving on to bronzer, I've got my NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium Dark and this is just going to go in the hollows of my cheeks and along my temples and this is just to warm up my complexion and then to contour slightly, I'm using my Maybelline Contour Kit here and I'm just taking the contour shade of course and on an angled brush just applying this onto the hollows of my cheeks once more and again onto my temples um, I didn't go for a really heavy contour just because again we want this look to look quite nice and fresh but I also contoured down the sides of my nose and just at the tip of it to slim it out a little bit this is of course personal preference then of course to highlight I'm using my Freedom Pro highlight in the shade Glow and I'm using my phone as a mirror because my Snapchat family will know that I was doing this on Snapchat um, but yeah I'm just doing this on the top of my cheekbones because I want them to pop and I'm also just going to take this down the bridge of my nose also and just at the tip a little bit. Then for blusher I've got my NYX blusher in the shade Peach even though it's a really nice baby pink so I don't know why they named it Peach but this is just going to go on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit above but I only took a really small amount of this because it's quite a bright shade then um, for lips I've got my jumbo lip pencil in the shade soft future again by NYX did I mention that anyway I'm just taking this along my lips and then I just wanted to add a bit of depth to the lips so I line them with this L'Oreal lip liner and I cannot say the name for the life of me because it's in French so I'll leave it down below so that's what the lips look like but I wanted to nude it out a little bit because I felt like it was a bit too pink for me so I've taken my Rimmel and Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 03 and I've popped this mostly on the centre of my lips and then I've just gone back around it with my lip liner to redefine the lips and to add a bit of that pink back in. And then I just took a black coal eyeliner to uh, go along the lash band of the eyelashes because I just hate seeing that lash band and I didn't want it to be visible at all. But this guys is the finished look. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did, comment down below, share and subscribe, follow me on Insta and Snap Snapchat. I'm now on Snapchat. Um, all the details will be down below. And thank you for watching. Mwah. Bye.